Okay, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Brendan Mullery from Irish Rural Link and the Rubismo Project. Um, welcome to our Cafe Morning Session, our sixth cycle, a note on the Rubismo Project. The Rubismo Project um, is a rural development project funded by Horizon, looking at food, bio-based value chains and the ecosystem service. Um, and it looks at three areas of an analysis and support practical business models and collaboration tools, the development of those tools, and also developing resources for capacity building and training tools. It's a three-year project. We're coming to the end in October, 16 partners, and you can find out more at rubismo.eu. Um, this morning's session, I'm delighted to introduce Zenep Dormus Arsen and John Luco. Vagnarelli. Um, the, they are from the Ruby Touch project and they're going to be talking about increasing rural tourism and community resilience. So we're going to have two different uh, examples from their project from Turkey and from Italy. So I'm going to hand over now to uh, Zinep. And Zinep, you can- Thank you. Just... So I'm starting. Great. You can just share so... your screen. Okay. Uh, at the moment, I cannot share my. Okay. Uh, well, maybe it's because I'm sharing. Can you so. unshare, please? Yeah. So if you just try okay. there, you should be able to see. Okay. It. Now. Great. Wonderful. Okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, today, I will talk about uh, one of our actions. Uh, increasing rural tourism capacity um, capacity in Kozak Bluetooth is near Turkey. And uh, just a second for uh, our, yeah. Uh, this is a Rutuj project, Rutuj Heritage for Rural Generation, uh, started in 2018. So we are one of the replicators uh, in the rural project. The name of our contribution to the project is uh, Integrated Management of Izmir Geopark in Bakurcay Basin. Uh, we are composed of three uh, major partners, uh, Izmir Metropolitan Municipality, Izmir Institute of Technology, and Demir Energy. Uh, my name is Zeynep Durmuş Arsan, and I'm from Izmir Institute of Technology, Department of Architecture. Our city, uh, Izmir, is located on the Western Anatolia, uh, on the Aegean seashore. And the city center uh, uh, of Izmir is located in Izmir Bay, uh, but our uh, project area uh, straits on the north of uh, Izmir province. It covers three districts, Dikili, Kunuk, and Bergama. Uh, besides the action that I will explain today, uh, is related to Kozak Plateau and its 16 villages, uh, which is indicated as yellow area here. Uh, the plateau uh, has a mountainous uh, topography uh, and dominated by, by agricultural and livestock activities. At the first stage of uh, the project, we conduct a key performance indicator analysis by looking for our cultural, nature, and wood capital uh, of the region. In terms of cultural capital, um, the area hosts a multi-layered landscape character, uh, artisanal activities such as parchment making, and um, local food tastes. In the, among natural capital, uh, spatial ge geological formations and um, Kozak Plateau with its forest villages uh, are uh, co uh, constituting the leading resources. And Paragomon UNESCO World Heritage Site is uh, among our build capital. Actually, uh, these indicator results provided as a basis uh, for our action plan. It pointed out that ne uh, the need for an action, especially on increasing rural tourism capacity of the region. On the other hand, um, the, the lack of effort of and in uh, motivation to explore alternative potential income sources and high risk on extension of cultural and natural heritage assets 
uh, are among the prominent challenges. Since we started working on these problems, we have encountered with some barriers. Uh, the place of women in current production, production is very limited. A community among villages inadequate, there is rivalry. An organization in local production is weak. There are few cooperatives and not fully effective either. Based on all these analyses, we develop our action plan by defining our cultural, natural, geological, and agricultural heritage assets as drivers for the rural generation and developed our integrated landscape management plan. We have nine actions and the six action here uh, is about increasing rural tourism capacity in Kozak Plateau. Uh, this action concentrates on uh, the feasibility of area, including accommodation, management system, touristic offers, and local settings. Uh, the main objective is to do a capacity building to enhance the touristic uh, capabilities of local people and the, maintain the rural heritage. We investigate uh, uh, tourism accommodation models, uh, such as diffuse total concept, that is Albergo di Fizo, in order to create a new tourism networks among forest villages of Kozak Plateau, as well as uh, between Turkey and uh, other countries. The term Albergo di Fizo uh, was born in 1982 uh, to save a rural village uh, destroyed by an earthquake uh, uh, of the uh, 70s in Italy. The idea is not to build anything new just a big cluster hotel, but reuse the existing uh, dwellings for tourist purposes. Uh, different from traditional hotel concept, concept in which the unique hotel serves uh, with its private rooms and visitors contacted with only staff, uh, hotel staff, the first total concept proposes on traditional model by spreading hotel services in the village in a horizontal structure. It needs more uh, existing buildings reused as units, and there are one or more owners, uh, small businesses, encouraging uh, cooperative structure. And visitors have direct contact with the residents. So in our case, we are looking for the possibility uh, of adapting this model to incorporate our natural, uh, cultural, and built heritage for rural regeneration. There are 10 principles of this total concept, and it's hard to explain uh, in this limitation, time limitation. It, it promotes local culture, uh, local economy, and aims to protect uh, environment. So we are working for uh, formulating its reflection to Kozak Plateau by investigating our facts local possibilities and constraints, and this constitutes the feasibility study. For example, the management system um, can be uh, in the form of a reception-centered uh, cooperative system. Besides, the accommodation network can either be uh, in a village or dispersed among villages. Uh, there are six steps planned for this action meeting with Tourism Department of Izmir Metropolitan Municipality are conducting. Field work has started within the limitation of COVID situation. After field work, a guideline will be prepared. Then we will introduce a uh, diffuse total concept to the local people in a meeting. According to the villages and the houses to be included in the hotel network will be defined. And uh, for possible international connections, we will contact with the diffuse hotel network. And lastly, we are planning to organize training courses for pensioning and local tourist guide uh, to increase capacity building. Up to now, uh, we did uh, we conducted a feasibility study in the COVID situation. Uh, interviews with the women uh, of Kozak Plateau were held over telephone. We also planned field work among which the stakeholder analysis and user survey with local participants uh, are very essential for us. 
uh, accordingly training local people about pensioning and local tourist guide will be established. Here they aim to increase capacity building for homeboarding and local services. Uh, we are planning to do trainings in our rural heritage, heritage, rural heritage up in Kozak Plateau. And at the end, we will search for funding possibilities and possible investors. This was all from my side. Thank you for your attention. Oh, thanks very much, Zenep. Now I'm going to hand straight over just to uh, Gianluca. Yes. Thank you. I'm sharing my uh, screen. Okay. So, thank you very much for this uh, uh, invitation. I'm Gianluca Bagnarelli. I'm the project manager of the municipality of Apignano del Tronto, that is one uh, of the partner of uh, Ruritage project. And I'm going to present uh, uh, one of the action, mostly, of uh, our action plan, our local action plan for uh, rural regeneration of the community of Apignano del Tronto. So about uh, the context, uh, Pignano del Tronto is uh, um, a rural village, a small rural village uh, in, um, uh, based in Italy, under 2,000 inhabitants, based in Marche region, uh, in uh, the central Italy. And uh, as a rural village, uh, Pignano has the common problems that these kind of areas have in Italy and around Europe. For example, unemployment, the aging of the local population, uh, a percentage of high school or university graduated that are under the national average, micro and family run companies, especially uh, farms, so consequently with the lack of financial capability, and mostly depopulation. Uh, so as you can see in this chart, 12% of the inhabitants of the village have moved toward the urban centers in the last 15 years, in the last 20 uh, years. Um, and unfortunately, the, this depopulation trend intensified after 2016 and 2017 because the central Italy earthquake that uh, at Apignano del Tronto damaged only in this uh, small village, damaged 300 buildings and forced 150 people to move away. Uh, one, this is one of the buildings damaged by the local uh, uh, earthquake. So um, in this difficult context, uh, uh, so we had a combination, we could say, with uh, historical problems that usually affect uh, rural areas, such as depopulation, plus uh, the impact of the earthquake. Okay, so in this context, we started, fortunately, the experience of the Ruritage project in 2018. The aim of the Ruritage project is to test an innovative model for rural regeneration using the leverage of cultural and natural heritage of local communities, of local rural areas. Uh, these are pictures related to the first uh, uh, part of the activity, the code is the so-called co-design pro process, thanks to which we co-developed a series of actions at the local level for the rural regeneration of the uh, local community. We involved in this process uh, 40 stakeholders. That is a quite good number, I think, considering uh, that is uh, Apignano is a small uh, village. What is the aim of this uh, um, action plan that you can see synthesized in this, uh, in this uh, uh, infographic? The aim is to build a more resilient and inclusive community uh, through the leverage, using the leverage of the cultural and natural heritage. 
So I don't I do not want to list obviously all the uh, actions we are implementing, we are working on. I want just to focus on the main action of our local action plan, that is the hub for a community uh, resilience. Um, as you know, um, an app, according to scientific uh, definition, uh, are at the same time, apps are at the same time innovation incubators and community centers. So they are usually open spaces in which the knowledge transfer is easier compared to the traditional knowledge transfer we have, for example, in the universities or research centers, because these, these spaces are played, are based near to the local community. Okay. So this is this picture shows the inauguration of our local hub that uh, founded thanks to the Ruritage uh, project. We are working for implementing this hub, uh, the local hub we already have. Uh, why this action is important for us? Because we could say this action synthesizes the resilience philosophy we have that consists in, the, in transforming a local problem. The fact that we are based in an earthquake area and the fact that we experienced an earthquake uh, four years ago, so to transform, to convert, this problem in an opportunity for local development. You can see in the, the, the local church with, the, with the, the signs of the earthquake damages. This is a picture taken during the local meeting of Luritage, of Luritage project. So we are developing this idea of a local hub for community resilience. Um, the idea consists in to build a center, a local center, able to share in innovative ways knowledge and training activities related to resilience with uh, a target uh, schools and the general public. So in this way, we try to convert a problem, so the experience of the earthquake, the fact that we are based in an earthquake area in an opportunity for local development because we, could, we want to transform and disseminate the experience we have in this context to the general public. Um, so we, have, um, we are implementing this idea of the local lab for community resilience that should be based on the four uh, principles that you, uh, you can see in the slide. The first one, is disseminate res uh, res uh, the resilience culture. Thanks to the experience and lessons learned by the local community during the earthquake, and also thanks to the support of the scientific stakeholders uh, involved in the Ruritage project, we aim to disseminate resilience culture to uh, toward schools and general public, making this knowledge understandable for all and at the same time making it scientifically based. This is the first point. The second point is to use dig digitalization for this kind of training and educational activities in order to stimulate a better engagement about the visitors, especially young people and students, giving them the opportunity to experience an emotional visit uh, thanks also using uh, also uh, digital tools, tools such as, for example, Science on a Sphere. It is a very interesting uh, uh, tool for schools. The third element is the earthquake simulator. Considering the recent, the recent history of the community related to the earthquakes and lessons learned thanks to the project uh, uh, Ruritage, we would like to implement uh, this uh, earthquake simulator at local level as a way to uh, disseminate the resilience and awareness about how to react toward you know, uh, climate disasters using this educational uh, tool. Last point is the target of our actions are schools and the general public. We, we would like to involve 
them to incentivate them to visit Apignano del Tronto, to visit the local community, uh, to uh, do ex learning experiences, uh, uh, educational experiences related to resilience, especially focused on the resilience toward the climate uh, uh, natural disasters. Um, so this is the idea. Uh, we already have, uh, we could say, uh, a space, a local space, but we have to implement it. So the actions uh, uh, in, in our action plan is just to finalize the project of this hub for community resilience. But the challenge will be obviously to raise funds uh, for developing for, for the further development of, uh, um, of it. Um, we, we have another action in the action plan in which uh, we would like to introduce fiscal incentives for attracting funds in, in, or, or potential investors interesting in supporting you know, a project uh, related to uh, resilience. But obviously, the, the challenge will be how to do it, and uh, more generally, how to, we could say, to make these non-economic values of our project, so social value, cultural value, natural value, how to make these non-economic values attractive for private or public investors or funds. Um, so, uh, in conclusion, to summarize, we aim to develop an holistic approach uh, to resilience, in which resilience is not uh, only connected to reducing risks and damage from disasters, but is something related also to every aspect of the local community. For, for example, is a way to increase tourism you know, uh, in the local community in order, as uh, I mentioned, to build a more resilient and at the same time inclusive uh, community trying to convert uh, a problem that we experience uh, in uh, an opportunity for local development. So thank you very much for your attention.